Hi, I'm Ben Lamers, and we're here at the Equation Super Tournament at the LISD Tech Center. Let's check it out. Uh, the students have a great opportunity at the Tech Center today for the Super Tournament. They're playing Equations, which is a game created by a professor at the University of Michigan back when. Uh, it revolves around making and solving equations using order of operations, uh, skills that they're going to see anywhere from fifth grade up through high school. It's a creative way to take all those math concepts and integrate all the problem solving that uh, some students really um, have a strength in. Now we're back at the Equation Super Tournament with Madeline and Derek. Derek, how did you get into equations? I think that math is really fun and I love doing math and so I found something that was cool and fun to me. And Madeline, can you explain the game of equations a little bit? Um, equations is a game with three players. There's 24 cubes, four different colors, and you take turns rolling the cubes and picking a solution. Then using the cubes that are rolled, you find a solution to the goal. Now we're going to go over to Mrs. Marlatt from Onsted Elementary to tell you a little bit more about the game. Um, so the game over here actually is how they play it is. They set up a goal. It can be a number or it can be an equation for the students. There's three areas where then you place cubes and you build equations. So in the beginning, they have operation cubes and number cubes that they're gonna strategically place in certain areas. One of the areas is permitted, one is required, and one is forbidden. If a cube goes in forbidden, just that one cube can't be used any longer, so it might eliminate some of their equations. If it's in permitted, they can use it or they don't have to in their equation. If anything is placed in required, though, that has to be in their equation. So the game revolves around moving cubes, and then based on whatever the goal is, students are looking to grab the larger um, challenge cube and calling either an A flub, a P flub, a CA or CP flub, and a force out. Yes, so an A flub is one more cube makes that goal. So if everything is in those strategic positions and it's just one more cube makes whatever someone set, that would be an A flub. If something is deemed a P flub, that means there's no solution anymore. If something is considered a force out, that's when they typically have two cubes left, all the other cubes are on the board, and it's a way to end the game without somebody being called with an A flub or a P flub. If they put it um, in forbidden though, they can be called a P flub, anywhere else would be an A flub. Um, the CA and the CP flubs are just somebody maybe missed calling something and the whole solution is on the board or it was already something that they couldn't solve. And we're back again with Kara, who just finished a game. How do you feel about that game, Kara? Um, it was pretty good and I liked the places I was in. Tell me a little bit about the game of equations. Um, well, you try to do math and make equations to fit a goal that you have to do and you just make equations with times and plus and minuses and all kinds of math equations. What made you get into equations? Um, I really liked math and I just decided that since I loved doing equations that this would probably be right for me. What do you look forward to in the future? Um, actually learning some new equations and being able to know some more people in the tournament. So our award ceremony um, will do first, second, and third place for all of our divisions. So in um, fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth grade this year we have three divisions and then in high school we have two. So obviously there's a lot of trophies, there's a lot of awards. Um, all of the high school participants get medals and then first place 
along with getting the big trophy, each student gets an individual trophy, which the kids think is really special and it's something really cool that we can do.